Sweating, everything is like hot. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ailey. And if you aren't, then hello, it is good to see you again. I haven't done a sit down talk about books video in so long, and I actually saw Steph Bora, I think that's how you say her last name, do this video, and I was like, that is such a good idea. That is like I just want to sit and talk about books. So that's what we're gonna be doing. It's just we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk about books that I want to read by the end of 2024 because we have gone past halfway of the year we have already we are closer to 2025 than we are to start in 24 that is that is insane to me that is so scary and it's the fact that I haven't even reached halfway of my reading goal yet I'm I'm a little bit scared so I thought these are some books that I really want to read before the year is over that I've been craving and then I've seen everywhere and I kind of just want to share that with you guys and just let's just talk about it and see if maybe you're in the same boat as me. So I've got I've chosen these are not all of them these are only like a handful of them because I don't want to be talking forever like I literally do not want to be talking for like an hour so I've picked a few books from each genre that I like to read. Um, main one being romance, and then I've got fantasy, and then I've got dark romances, but then I've also got series that I either am halfway through or that I want to start, which kind of like is a little bit scary to me because starting a new series and possibly not finishing it is like a little bit scary. And also considering I have so many other series that I need to finish, but it doesn't matter. These are like some of the ones that I want to read. So, oh well, I guess the other ones can wait. But I thought we would start off with romance first. And I'm gonna first off start talking about Ali Hazelwood's new book that has just come out, Not In Love. If you don't know me already, I freaking love Ali Hazelwood. And the things she writes, I will read. She is the type of author that literally can write anything. She has written so many like STEM romances, like to do with science. And I, I don't know science. Like, at all. Do not ask me anything to do with science. I read these books and that's the closest academically smart I'm gonna be. That already says a lot but she's also written a fantasy and she's written a young adult as well. Most of her books are adult but it's the fact this woman can literally do everything. She's done the young adult, she's done the spicy adult, she's done science and she's done a fantasy. So she has this book called Not In Love that's just come out. I think it's another STEM romance. I haven't heard much about it. I've seen a few people who I like to follow read it and I'm, I am literally don't need to know anything about that book. Just the fact it's written by Ali Hazelwood and I will read it. I will buy it and read it. I'm also hoping it's on Kindle Unlimited because then that's just a more of an excuse to read it but I don't think it is. So we need to go shopping at some point and buy new books. Moving on, next I have got the Chestnut Springs, the Chestnut Spring series. This is uh, Elsie Silver's cowboy romances. I've already read the first two, but each book is a standalone, and these are the next three that I've got. I think Powerless is a hockey romance thing. Reckless is another cowboy bull rider, I think. And then Hopeless is like older guy. I think he's in the army or the marines, like something to do with that. I don't know, but he's older. Older man. He's given older man. This is the one that people are obsessed with at the moment, but because of the film Twisters that's just come out. And everyone is like, Glenn Powell should be this man if there's a adaptation of it. So, and I love Glenn Powell. I'm hoping I'm saying his name right, because if I'm saying it wrong, that is gonna be so embarrassing. So, yeah. But apparently people are saying like, he's given off Bo vibes. 
and I really want to read this, but it's the last freaking one in the series, so I'm going to have to read these two before I can read this one. So that's actually more motivation to finish off this cowboy series, and I freaking love cowboys. <laughs> But also from Cowboys, I want to read more Pocky romances. So I've got Behind the Net and Collide, which are both, I think they're both sp spicy, like hockey romance books. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Again, I don't know anything about these books except from they are hockey. And I want to read more hockey romances. I went through a phrase where I absolutely loved hockey romance books, Icebreaker. You know where I'm at, girlies? Nah. I want more of those sort of things, so I picked up two of these. I think they are both on Kindle as well. I know this one definitely is on Kindle, and I will probably be swapping between reading the physical copy and reading Kindle, just because I read a lot quicker on Kindle, so if I can read it on Kindle, then I will. I will read it on Kindle, but I need the book as well. Which is not good because Kindle was supposed to be saving me money and it's it's not. It's not. Oh well. But yeah, I'm not quite sure about Clyde. I'm pretty sure it is, but again, I might be making that up. But I want to read more hockey stuff! I've never been to a hockey game. Maybe I should go to a hockey game. But I know nothing about hockey and I feel like I don't want to be one of those dumb girls that goes to a hockey game just to like look. But that is the reason why I'm going. It, no. I want to go to a hockey game and I want to be one of those girls that are like everyone else is like, damn, she knows her stuff. Like I want to be screaming the stuff at the players and you know, doing that whole thing. Like, I want to be that person. But do I know anything about hockey? No. Will I learn things about hockey? No, probably not. So will that happen? No. <laughs> It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I'm so dumb. But again, so I'm just gonna read it instead. We're just gonna carry on reading it. But that is pretty much like romance in a nutshell for me. Give me hockey players. Give me bull riders. Give me old men. Whoa, no, don't give me old, old men. <laughs> older men. Older, not old men. Like there's nothing wrong with an old man, but I meant older, like Sebastian Stan. I love that man so much. Oh, anyway, that's my romances. Um, moving on, should we talk? Let's talk about fantasy next. I'm gonna put that up there. There we can go there. I have. You can literally see all of the books behind me because I just took a thumbnail and then I couldn't be asked to take them down for it to be a surprise. So if you literally want to pause the video and look, you can see all the books. But if you want to hear me waffle, then. I might be funny, so I don't think I am. I think I just talk nonsense, honestly. But we're gonna talk nonsense about fantasy. Ugh. I've been seeing a few things about this book right now and I've been wanting to read it for ages. It's the Book of Azrael. Monsters. It's m gods and monsters. Now, if you know me, I love like Greek mythology stuff. Do not ask me about Greek mythology because I will not be able to answer you. I can literally give you one story and that's Hades and Persephone and that's about it. I used to like watch when I was a kid all of like the little animations of the Greek god stories. Um, Can I remember any? No. So that was time and energy wasted. But I that's transitioned into my into my reading. And one of my favourite series is the Hades and Persephone saga by Scarlett St. Clair. I do not shut up about that author. But this kind of like I kind of get the same sort of vibe from this. Do I know anything about it? No. But like it's giving that vibe. And I've seen people like talk really highly about this book and recommend this book. And I'm like, it says it's got some monsters, so we might read it, but again, it's like starting a new series that I'm I'm a little bit scared to do, so I might just start this book. Again, I think this one is on Kindle Unlimited, so if you want to check it out, it's on there, like really simple, easy, but again, um, I caved and bought it. But look at this. That's a thick book. She's, she's a thicker. So um, I, again, might be reading this on my Kindle. Uh, but yeah, Book of Azrael, it seems, it seems good. I, I have no idea what it's about. I don't read the back. I say I will, but I don't. I like to be like surprised when I read it. But anyway, moving on. Powerful and Reckless by Lauren 
fucking Roberts. I loved Powerless. I loved it. This is the novella. So I could read this or I don't have to read this. I'm pretty much going to read this before I read Reckless. I don't think I'm mentally prepared for this book, honestly. No. But I'm ready for this one. Like, I'm ready to, like, devour this book. I did just recently buy it from the works. If you live in the UK, go to the works because you can buy it for a fiver. But yeah, this, this Dan series, like... I'm already obsessed with it. Like, I am already obsessed and I'm so excited to learn about... I have no idea how to say her name. Ad... Ad... Adena? Adena? Paige's friend. Her. And then this obviously carries on the story from the first book, which obviously I'm excited to read. It's crazy. This, I already feel like this is going to be one of my favourite series. So yeah, I'm excited. And then, now this is one of the ones that I saw on, I think I was actually scrolling through Instagram, but I'm pretty sure it's on TikTok, where it's like, fan art can't make me read like a series. And then they put up, they're like, really? And then they put up like some fan art. I'm gonna see if I can find the fan art to this book. But they put this on and I instantly added this book to my cart. Like it's instantly added to like my reading vlog list, which is, Light Lark. I've heard mixed reviews about this book. Mixed reviews, but considering that, I wanna read it. I really wanna read it. But I've also like heard things that it's saying it's very like tropish. Like it's, it, it seems like they've tried to put as many tropes in it as possible so people are obsessed with it. Which okay, I can see, but also like give me the book. Like, why wouldn't I want to read that? I love that. And if an author has, like, it knows that we love that and they put it in their book, obviously I'm going to read it. So I get the good and bad because you obviously don't want to, like, just make your book that. Like it, like, it should be personal to you as well and what you want. I say that as if I'm a writer. I'm an, I'm not. Please don't take my word as my word. Um, I just, I, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, so I've had good and bad things about this, but I still really, really, really want to read it. And again, it's, <laughs> it's another series. I don't even know what the series is called. Oh, it's just the Light Lock saga. But the second book has already come out for this. So I might end up getting that depending on if I like the first one or not. If I like the first one, then I'll move on to the second one. But I've been like that more with series. Like I just get the first book and so that I'm not like, I haven't got the whole series and then I don't read it. I'm, I'm trying to only buy books that I know I'm going to read because I fall into the buying books is a different hobby to actually reading books. I'm trying to merge the two. Like I'm trying to merge the two. Sometimes I just don't do that. But we're trying. Anyway, that's my fantasy stuff. And I'm so excited. I love fantasy. I've been obsessed with fantasy for like the past couple of weeks and that's all I've wanted to read. So... I love my reading vlogs that are coming out soon are fantasy based so I'm sorry but not sorry that is not gonna change okay next so we've got we've done romance we've done fantasy I think we now need to do dark romances my lovely dark romances I'm a dark romance girlie I love freaking dark romance I love it and when people hear that I'm a Christian they're like you like dark romance but you're a Christian I'm like yeah obviously <laughs> so these are some dark romances i don't I, usually on my dark romances i only read them on my kindle because i just prefer to read them on kindle um because they're kind of like more of a guilty pleasure than like a trophy sort of thing so i've written a few down i actually need to highlight what i've already talked about so i don't get confused we've done that one starting off with leather and lark which is the second one to butcher and blackbird i've had different reviews on this i've had people don't like it as much as they like the first one which i tend to do find in second books or series the second one is never as good as the first one except akita the freaking second one in akita a court of mist and fury will have my heart my heart, it can be ripped out and given to that book. Like, take it. But usually in other ones, I don't really get that feeling. I don't at all. Um, 
So yeah, I'm not surprised, but still it's a book that I've wanted to read. I know it's about a different couple. Again, I feel like you could read it as a standalone without reading the first one, but I do believe that if my memory is correct, you are introduced to introduced to the characters from the first one and then it kind of links onto the second one. I can't remember who's it about. I can't remember. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed the first one. I gave that book five stars. So obviously I want to read the second one. So that's what I'm going to do. But the first one, the, well, the second one isn't Kindle. So I will have to get the paperback for that. Unless it goes on Kindle. But it's not. And I know that for definite it's not on Kindle. So I will have to buy that one. Mark's used to go book shopping. Uh, the next one is The Lies We Steal. I was on Goodreads just scrolling through like the most popular books at the moment that people have been reading this week and it has been the lies we steal series i keep seeing and i'm like what on earth is this book i haven't seen anything of it but all of a sudden everyone is reading it let me find it for you and we can have a look at the blurb together i wrote it down because i was really intrigued about it i know it's dark romance I don't think it's fantasy elements. I think it's college. I might be completely wrong. I think it's, I, is it college? I think it's college. Hold on, let me get my good reads up. Good reads. Oh, my, why? Ah, there we are. The Lies We Steal. It is by Monty J. It is part of the hollow boys series and it is a romance well it's a dark romance college mystery contemporary new adult contemporary romance thriller suspense but it's also on audiobook as well so oh wow do i read the whole of this yes i'm gonna read out the blurb to you so we can read this together even though i don't read blurbs we're gonna we're gonna read this together because i skimmed over this and instantly added to my list so Obviously, I found it interesting and I want to read it. So, it says, It's been months since the day we stood above the empty grave that stunk of burnt flesh and secrets. All of us were dressed to the nines. Okay. One of us was wearing a wedding dress, a day that was supposed to mark the beginning of a new adventure. It marks the bitter end of our revenge. We have done things that have marked our souls for eternity, but before we get there, we have to go back. Back to where it all started. This place I could find in my sleep. Hollow Heights University in Macbra? Macabraba? I have no idea what that word says, so I'm even past it. Um, seaside town of... Why do they have such complicated words that I can't read? I have dyslexia. Can we just make it simple for me, please? Bear with me. Ponderosa. Ponderosa Springs. I'm going with that. A university for prestigious, wealthy children to receive the highest education. A town drowning in secrets that become our damnation. <laughs> I had to skip over a word. I couldn't figure it out. But it wasn't the forest surrounding the gray, the grave, <laughs> the grace, the grounds, or even the mysterious hidden muslim, muslim, mausoleum, mausoleum, mausoleum. <laughs> That haunted me. It was them. The ones that lurk in the night. Things so wicked, so twisted, so evil. They would become the rulers of my nightmares. The hollow boys. One wrong move and I landed myself directly in their line of fire. This is not a story about love. It is not a story of happy endings. Love just happened to blossom in our sorrows, in our pain, our fear, our blood. Every terrible thing they ever did, we watched, we helped, we loved them anyway. Wow, we loved them anyway okay um some run from their monsters we fell in love with ours what the hell happened in that in this book on it on the book it says she can run but she can't hide that's looking a little bit scary anyway that's that's another one of them the lies we steal so i found it interesting i was like what do they mean like what happened so that seems good and then we have, surprise, surprise, the Imperfectly Imperfect series. The Perfectly Imperfect, whatever way around it is. I think it's Perfectly Imperfect series. 
There is like nine books in the series. I'm really sure 10 or maybe eight or seven. I don't know. There are so many. And they're all really, really short, like mafia romances. And I absolutely love them. And I really want to finish it because one, it will help me achieve my reading goals because they are only like 200 pages. And two, they're really interesting. <laughs> they're so entertaining. They are so stupid and just like over dramatic. I just, I love it. So I want to finish off this series. Each book is about a different couple, but somehow they are all linked together. They are all in the same universe, even though it's like different mafia groups all over the US. Like it's, it's just so much fun. I love it. You definitely should read it. If you, if you love mafia romances that aren't too extreme, but still have those morally gray, like character trope things, read that series. It's so much fun. And finally, series is I want to either finish or start and I'm going to start off with Crescent City. I've actually read this one but I thought I would bring it out anyway because it's part of the series but I need to finish Crescent City as well as The Throne of God. I'm not gonna this, see this is why I just don't bother picking things up. I will hold this book the Throne of Glass series. This is actually the next book I need to read. I've started some of these, but I generally just want to finish Sarah J Maas's books. Has she written any more or has it just been like these three? I don't know. But yeah, I want to finish The Throne of the Glass World and also The Crescent City World. I absolutely love Sarah J Maas. I think she's a really good writer um, and has such complex characters. I know not everybody agrees with how she writes characters, but I think at the end of the day, it's a fantasy world. It's fiction. It's not real. And I just find it really entertaining and enjoyable to read so I really do want to finish it and understand why people are so obsessed with it and why people love it so much and actually what happens in the end. I'm hoping that's in the same place. Yeah my camera died, that was fun but yes as I was saying with Sarah J, I actually can't remember what I was saying with that but I want to finish it, I need to finish it and I just yeah I just feel like her world is so detailed and just it's just everything that I want when I'm reading a fantasy I'm just gonna say that it's everything that I personally want as a reader in a fantasy I know every single reader and this is why I love readers and having like bookish friends is that everyone has such different opinions on what they like to read what sort of things like get them giddy and going and excited and what things like kind of drag along and it's always different for everyone else and I feel personally with Sarah J Maas she just writes those books that I'm craving like especially if I'm reading like a romantic scene like, I'm such a mood reader and whenever I'm in that mood I know that I can find that in Sarah J Maas's books because there's also so much plot as well with it yeah I'm right I'm right I hopefully am right but anyway moving on to another series and I'm desperate to read this one the Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates Hates I think it's Hates books by Jess Jessa 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 Hastings I am so excited to read these books. I am so ready to read these books. I've had these books for so long and I keep saying over and over and over again that I really need to read this series, that I really, really want to read the series. And I never get to round to reading it because I know it's going to be one of these like series that I'm just going to commit to and read them back to back. So I need the time to be able to read them back to back. I definitely want to do a reading vlog about it. But they're all set in England and I, first off, already love that. And I think it's like school. I don't know. But again, my favourite book, Gucci of Arapasa, absolutely adores these this series. And I really, again, want to give it a go myself. I want to see how I feel and, and what I think about it. And I think I definitely want to annotate these books as well because they are so pretty these covers are the prettiest books i've ever freaking seen in my life and so um yeah this is another series that i'm gonna get into and do but lastly and finally the last series that i really really want to read the shatter me series i have the rest of them here but i just picked up the first one oh, i really want shadow me series i feel like i'm so far behind from reading this series like absolutely everybody loves this series that i talk to like i see it all over social media and i feel like i'm just missing out 
I feel like I'm missing out on this whole community. And I I just, I want to read it. I want to know who this Aaron guy is. I think his name's Aaron. I don't know. But I literally, like, I think... Part of me thought I w it was fantasy, but I'm not really quite sure. I literally don't know anything about it except that people love characters in this book and absolutely love this series and are obsessed with it, like Akatar. But I haven't read it and I really, really want to read it. I really want to do it as a reading vlog as well. I can just take you all along with me. But that is pretty much everything that I want to read before the year is over. We've only got a few months left, so I need to get my butt moving because I have so many books that I want to read. Again, if you guys have any recommendations for any books that you would like me to read or that you think I really enjoy, then please, honestly, I will take any recommendations. Like, I will literally, like, make my notes. I will do my plan. I just want as many books as possible because sometimes I feel like I don't have enough of a choice and I need, I'm such a mood reader, I need to read what I'm feeling and most of the time I don't feel like I have those books so if you have any more recommendations for any books that I should read please comment them down below or message me on Instagram, I just get in touch with me, get in touch with me. But yeah that is pretty much everything that I want to read. For the rest of the year obviously i have so many more books that i want to read but these are the main ones that are like calling my name and screaming at me and like looking at me and i i'm like okay i'm gonna read you i'm gonna read you i'll read you please just stop but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video uh i will be back for another sit down video talky talky book 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 at some point soon because i haven't done i love doing these like talky videos because i honestly have so much to say there's so much to say but i have to put a leash on my tongue because sometimes I'm just waffling absolute nonsense and have no idea what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, let you carry on with your day, but I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!